नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल अ हिस्टोरिक डे टुडे द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल टू प्रोवाइड रिजर्वेशन टू वुमेन इन पार्लियामेंट now this uh, approval by the cabinet has ensured that this bill can be presented or tabled in the special session of the parliament now let's talk about women reservation bill let's get right into the show okay so uh, let's start this editorial with understanding what the bill is then let's understand the history of the bill and then let's understand how is this bill relevant and important to india theek hai na so that's how we'll go about this editorial so let me start by saying that the union cabinet led by prime minister narendra modi has approved the constitution amendment bill to provide reservation for women in parliament and state assemblies so this approval has paved way for the introduction of this historic bill in the current special session of the parliament the constitution 128th amendment bill 2023 it's a very important amendment it is a very important bill adhiranjan ji suniye thoda article 2390a hum isme insert kar rahe hain jiske madhyam se 33% mahilaon ko reservation milega kis mein the national capital territory of delhi uske baad हम आर्टिकल डबल थ्री जीरो ए में अमेंडमेंट कर रहे हैं जिसके माध्यम से लोकसभा में रिजर्वेशन ऑफ सीट्स फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब जो प्रावधान पहले से है उसी में ही हम 33 परसेंट महिलाओं के आरक्षण की बात कर रहे हैं उसी में उसी में हम 33 परसेंट महिलाओं के आरक्षण की बात कर रहे हैं एक आर्टिकल डबल है जिसमें रिजर्वेशन जो दिया हुआ इसमें असेंबलीज के लिए उसमें भी स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली में 33 परसेंट महिलाओं के लिए आरक्षण की व्यवस्था कर रहे हैं ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बिल है और फिर आर्टिकल डबल थ्री फोर ए में एक नया हम क्लॉथ जोड़ रहे हैं जिसके माध्यम से इस महिला रिजर्वेशन की जो अवधि होगी वो पंद्रह साल के लिए होगी उसकी यदि बढ़ाना होगा तो संसद इसको अधिकार होगा वो बढ़ाने का मैं इसके माध्यम से कहना चाहता हूँ आपको आपको एक एक समझाना चाहता हूं धीरंजन जी अभी जैसे फाइव थ्री फाइव फोर थ्री मेम्बर है इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन दू यू कैन सी इन दप्लीमेंट्री लिस्ट ऑफ दिजनेस यू नाउ द न्यू बिल विच इज बींग इंट्रोड्यूस टूडे इज आइडेंटिकल टू द बिल ऑफ टू थाउजेंड टेन नाउ टू थाउजेंड टेन बिल लेट मी टेल यू वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट थर्टी थ्री परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर वीमेन in the like i told you the lok sabha the rajya sabha and the assemblies now that's what they say and they also say that the, this bill might expand the scope of reservation beyond the lok sabha and the state assembly which means this bill may go beyond uh, lok sabha and assembly to municipal corporations to panchayats so on and so forth and they say in 2010 there was also no provision for quota within quota which was a key demand for regional parties that they are looking at uh, a quota within quota now let us understand that this bill is not something that is being introduced just recently this bill has been introduced since 1996 in fact in fact 2010 2010 the upa had managed to get this bill passed in the rajya sabha but failed in the lok sabha theek hai na so this is what the history of the bill is and like i told you this time around the chances are this bill will pass congress trinamool congress uh, bjd uh, brs left parties are all supporting this bill so chances are this bill will get passed and uh, we will see women reservation in our parliament theek hai so before i go further let me try and tell you where did the story start and how did the story start the story started way back in 1996 in 1996 the then minister of state for law in the united front government ramakant d kalap had proposed this bill now ramakant d kalap when he proposed this bill it was a surprise because several leaders of the janata dal and other constituents of the ruling coalition were not in favor of this their own party men were or whatever coalition men were not favor of this were not in favor of this so this bill was 
this bill was put up but uh, it 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 saw a lot of resistance but that being said the bill was referred to a joint committee headed by cpi's geeta mukherjee the next day the very next day which is uh, september 12th this bill was uh, introduced september 13th it was given to a joint committee headed by geeta mukherjee now among the 31 members of the parliament panel then mps i am talking about 1996 we had mamta banerji we had meera kumar we had sumitra mahajan we had nitish kumar we had sharad pawar we had vijay baskar reddy we had sushma swaraj we had uma bharati we had girija vyas we had ram gopal yadav we had sushul kumar shinde and hanan mohalla so these were the people these were the members 31 members who were who were selected to discuss on this particular bill now this 31 members came up with some suggestions also for that bill i am talking about 1996 the first attempt for this bill the panel proposed several major suggestions and felt that the bill's wording of not less than one third with regard to reservation for the women was vague and liable to be interpreted differently they suggested that it should be substituted by as nearly as maybe one third so that it leaves no scope for ambiguity the panel also suggested that there should be reservation for seats for women in rajya sabha and the legislative council and even stated that the benefit of reservation to the other backward class should be considered okay so three very major changes earlier on the bill was worded as at least one third or uh, not less than one third was the first was how the bill was worded they said no it should not be not less than or more than and all that was up nahi hoga you will say one third it has to be one third so today uh, like i said the larger understanding is that the bill that is going to be presented today talks about the bill having 33% reservation okay so that's one of the things they said and uh, like i said they said that you know the bill should be uh, not only for rajya sabha lok sabha it should be for the uh, mlcs the member of uh, lok uh, legislative councils also so that's uh, what these 31 member panel recommended the committee recommended that the provision governing the reservation of seats for women in the lok sabha and the state assembly should be for a period of 15 years from the date of commencement of the act with them being reviewed after the period to decide whether the reservation should continue or not so 15 years they said from the date the act is commenced 15 years dekhenge let us see what happens if everything is fine we will continue the act if there are issues we will amend the act change the act stop the act etc so this was the decision this was one more recommendation from them now there is another important recommendation from this committee and the recommendation was that the panel also spoke about states where there are existing reservations to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in less than 3 seats in such a case the committee suggested a rotation policy one seat reserved for women in the first term and the other seats reserved in the second term with the seats being unreserved in the third term so wherever there were reservation policies they said let us do a, a rotation policy one seat reserved in the first term the others in the second and the third term there is no seats reserved so so basically that was what their recommendation was uh, overall and um, one more suggestion that i want to get to your notice that they suggested that delhi assembly should also be bought under the ambit of the bill the committee adopted its report in december 1996 ठीक है ना सो द रिपोर्ट वॉज अडॉप्टेड इन नाइनटीन नाइन सिक्स बट द बिल वॉज ने वाई वॉज इन द बिल पास देर वॉर सम स्ट्रॉन्ग वॉइस ऑफ डिसेंट नाउ वन ऑफ द वॉइस ऑफ डिसेंट वॉज नीतीश कुमार नीतीश कुमार द करंट बिहार चीफ मिनिस्टर हु स्पोक ऑन द रिजर्वेशन फॉर ओबीसी वुमेन सेट दैट द बिल प्रोवाइड रिजर्वेशन फॉर वुमेन बिलोंगिंग टू एस सीज एंड एस टीज I am of the opinion that the women belonging to OBC should also get a fair deal. Therefore, I want one third reservation should include women belonging to OBCs. The reservation should be in proportion of the population of OBCs. So Kumar was, like I said, Nitish Kumar was a dissent. He said OBC be chiye. So in this concept of OBC be chiye, the bill he was dissenting the bill. He did not agree to the bill. ठीक है ना? Now. Um, there were some people like uh, late mr sharad yadav also who made some statements which were uh, pretty 
कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल स्टेटमेंट लाइक कौन महिला है कौन महिला नहीं है केवल बाल कटी महिला भर नहीं रहने देंगे वॉट ई सेड इज हु इज अ वुमेन हु इज नॉट ओनली शॉर्ट हेड वुमेन वोट बी अलाउड विच मीन वॉट यू वॉज ट्राइंग टू से दैट ओनली मॉडर्न वुमेन के नॉट कम इन टू द पार्लियामेंट इट हैज टू बी लार्जर इंक्लूजन ऑफ वुमेन शुड बी एन शॉर्ट बट दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट ही मेड वेंट वॉज वॉज कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल एंड इट क्रिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी एट ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो इट वॉज पीपल लाइक नीतीश कुमार पीपल लाइक शरद यादव हु हैड अ लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्शन दिस इज नाइनटीन नाइनटी सिक्स नाउ लेट मी टॉक The second attempt. The second attempt was in 1998. Now, in 1998, July 13th, the Lok Sabha saw a chaotic scene as then Law Minister M. Tambi Durai tried to introduce the bill, and Rashtriya Janata Dal (RJD) and Samajwadi Party's MP registered protest amidst the ruckus. One RJD member, Surendra Prasad Yadav, snatched the copy of the bill from the speaker GMC Bala Yogi and tore them up. So this is what happened in 1998. Again, the there was a huge resistance from Rashtriya Janata Dal and uh, people of the Samajwadi Party. Now, Surendra Prasad Yadav actually went on to say that Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar had. Appeared in his dreams and asked him to tear the bill. So this was what he said. Now the third attempt. In 2008, the UPA government finally introduced the bill on May 6, 2008. Before the Law Minister H R Bharadwaj could rise, SP MP Abu Azmi rushed towards him and snatched the copy of the bill. Even as the Women and Child Development Minister Renuka Chaudhary. along with some other congress mp tried to block him physically and cordon him off bharadwaj and other sp mp hurled pieces of torn paper in the well of the house so this was the resistance that this bill had caused i mean people coming in grabbing the uh, bill and tearing it and throwing it out now uh, now let's talk about the red letter day like i told you before 2010 march 9 2010 after pending for 14 years the bill saw a breakthrough the rjd was no longer part of the upa government and along with the sp it extended outside support to upa government in a surprise move nitish kumar made a u turn and extended support to the bill leaving his senior party colleague sharad yadav red faced and after two days of spirited discussion the rajya sabha on march 9th 2010 passed the bill over two third majority and the bjp and the left who were in opposition supported it with 186 in favor and one opposing vote coming from the farmer leader sharad joshi so this was the history of uh, women reservation 2010 Rajya Sabha passed it, but Lok Sabha didn't. Like I told you, and now it looks as if this bill is going to get passed, and it is going to be a historic bill. Now, uh, Congress has constantly been taking, trying to take credit for this bill. It was, uh, I would say, a good strategic move by, uh, by Sonia Gandhi to talk about this bill on Sunday, that is, a day before the special session, the special parliamentary session, where she always kept on saying that this is our uh, bill. We mooted this bill first, uh, and we were always in support of the bill. Even I think even today, Jairam Ramesh tweeted saying that, uh, you know. our pm says he is crusader for women empowerment time for him to rise above party politics walk his talk and have the women reservation bill passed in the parliament the congress offers him unconditional support this is what mr jairam ramesh says so let's keep all this aside now let's talk and understand women's reservation bill you see politics is about representation representation of gender representation of caste representation of creed community as much as possible because that's the concept of a democratic parliament when you have representation you take care of their interest so to take care of a community's interest a caste interest a gender's interest you need people to represent that caste community gender and therefore women who are 50% of our population if they are not given enough representation then what representation are we talking about so therefore women representation bill becomes very very important now let me tell you 
Let me give you some example. India is not the only country who talks about women representation. There are almost 37 countries who talks about who already has given women re reservation. Countries including Philippines, which has got 29% representation. Pakistan, which has got 17% reservation. Bangladesh, which has got 50 out of the 350 seats reservation. Argentina, Nepal, which has also got uh, uh, reservations. France, South Korea, Nepal, a quota of 50% candidates uh, list has been reserved for women. As far as Argentina, Mexico, Costa Rica uh, are concerned, they have got 36% female representation in their national legislature. South Africa has got 44.8% women reservation in their countries. Countries like Indonesia, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan have 30% uh, reservation for women. Countries like Rwanda has 30% reservation for women. Sudan, 60 seats out of 443 seats are women. Latin America, 14 countries have uh, constitutional quotas for women, including Peru, Ecuador, Paraguay, uh, and others. Europe, like I told you before, Portugal, Spain, France have constitutional provision for reservation of seats for women candidates. And uh, Germany, UK, uh, are some other European countries that also have uh, reservation for women. Australia and several other countries in the West have reservation for women. Argentina, like I already told you, Bolivia, these are countries that have given reservation for women. So, 40 nations, as on 2010, 40 nations had given reservation for women, not 37, 40 nations had given reservation for women as far as, as far as 2010 records are concerned. So people, countries have given reservation for women, including countries like Pakistan and Bangladesh. So reservation for women is important, both in terms of representation and even in terms of governance, participation of in governance. So somewhere down the line, I would be the happiest person if the bill gets passed in the special parliamentary session. This will be a red letter day for India. It will be a great day for India. So I look forward for this bill to get passed and uh, till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Namaskar.